Hello guys, please need to watch this video if you are a pioneer, as we are getting closer to March 14th, so this is a message to the general public. After watching this video, we will explain further. Please listen to this attentively. Seeing applications to be listed on the platform. To avoid a Wild West situation where unchecked individuals taking advantage of fellow pioneers, the selection of the apps will involve community vetting and peer reviews to try to achieve relevance, quality, and trustworthiness. The application process for third-party developers is expected to open by the end of quarter two. The in-app transfer pilot proved the need for apps platform that allows safe and efficient transactions using Pi and reduces abuses. The findings of the pilot mean that we will have to slow down the enrollment into the in-app transfer pilot until more apps are added to the platform that scale transactions of real goods and services and when we design safeguards needed to prevent further abuses. While we will be slowing down the enrollment in the in-app transfer pilot, we will expand KYC after Pi Day. As KYC will still be necessary to participate in other Pi programs. Being KYC will no longer automatically enable in app transfers, but will increase Pioneer's probability of being selected to the in app transfer pilot later as more apps are added to the platform. And welcome to our first Midpoint Hackathon Showcase. We've received a variety of Midpoint progress videos, and we are excited today to showcase a few that display our community's potential and the excitement in building the Pi Networks ecosystem. However, note that these projects are not fully developed yet, and their selection does not affect their chances of winning. First up, we have Pi Workforce, a platform designed to connect freelance workers with employers throughout the Pi ecosystem. Next is WePi, a project aiming to create a decentralized social media platform fueled by the Pi blockchain. Third is Diners, a hub where pioneers all across the world can exchange cultural knowledge and tutorials about food with a potential future marketplace. And finally, Pi Barter Mall is a large online marketplace where pioneers can buy goods and products with Pi. Thanks everyone for your efforts and contributions to the Pi Hackathon. Again, winners have not been selected yet, so developers should continue honing their products until it's time for the final submissions. See you all next week for the second part of our Hackathon Showcase. So now let's explain what the PI Core team talks about in the video. Pioneers seeking employment will be able to work and be paid in PI coin anywhere around the world. You may learn what jobs pay with PI. For example, Mary done an excellent job. The pioneer may now pay her 50 PI coins that were initially agreed upon. Simple right. The PI core team want to build a social media platform that is completely decentralized so that people can freely communicate and share any issues they may have. You may access the main interface and view the suggested videos by entering the PI network as a whole. Users can also utilize PI coin for the content they are most interested in. After you have completed your job, the money will be fully transferred to the Pioneer accounts. You may also use your PI coin on an online market. This website has a sizable online supermarket. You can select the product you want and pay with PI, which is a specially made item for distributing PI coins. You can click to add to the shopping cart. After adding an item, you can select a payment method, and the system will automatically wake up the wallets to process payments. The order status indicates that the payment in PI currency was successful, and we are now waiting for the merchants to deliver. Is this not amazing? As we know, days become weeks and weeks become months since many claims that dribbling is becoming excessive. Pioneers from around the world as well as critics and others are waiting to learn if and when the PI network will ever become a reality. However, at this time, the months have already turned into years. Will the Pi Network ever launch and create many millionaires? Will we ever have the opportunity to exchange the Pi Network coin for other cryptocurrencies without it being an IOU? Or are we going through another IOU exchange process after years of consistently clicking and believing in the Pi Network project? 
years of inviting others to join in the race to financial freedom as many perceive it to be, would dreams come true? If you want to know your status with the PI Network coin, you may check out the platforms that claim to offer services and take Pi as payment. After a year of promises and multiple hackathon competitions, will pioneers ever use these apps? Stay closely as I walk you through this straightforward tutorial, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video and give it a thumbs up. Okay, now is the time to unwind and enjoy this video. Let's now examine problems that affect pioneers from a different angle. Instead of altering the story before I share it with you, I believe the Pi Network might likely launch its main net. I want to address these issues because they are as crucial as the minute. If these steps aren't taken, pioneers might not see the launch of the Pi Network coin anytime soon. Just don't acknowledge what many of us have refused to acknowledge and discuss. In no particular order, let's discuss the route. The roadmap was divided into three phases. Phase 1 discusses design, distribution, trust graph bootstrapping, and I quote, During this phase, improvements in the user experience and behavior are possible and relatively easy to make compared to the stable phase of the mainnet. All minting of coins to users will be migrated to the live mainnet. Before we launch the mainnet, the node software will be deployed on a testnet. The testnet will use the exact same trust graph as the mainnet, but on a testing Pi coin, Pi Core team will host several nodes on the testnet. Pi is not listed on exchanges during this phase, and it is impossible to buy Pi with any other currency, as you are all aware the phase has come and gone. Now we move to phase 2, which is the testnet. Once again, I quote from the white paper before we launch the mainnet. The testnet will be run concurrently with the Pi emulator in Phase 1, and results from both systems will be compared periodically, for example daily, to catch the testnet's gaps and misses, and allow Pi developers to suggest and implement fixes. After a thorough concurrent run of both systems, the testnet will reach a state where its results consistently match the emulators at that time when the community feels it's ready to move to the production network. The majority of us probably recall the time when we were all sending test pi to one another. That was testnet. The next stage is the most crucial and should be taken. This is the stage where pi can be connected to exchanges and exchanged for other currencies. The implementation and rollout will depend on nodes upgrading the mining software similarly to other blockchains. There won't be a central authority in charge of the currency at this point. I am aware that everyone is paying close attention, but I believe we may have overlooked some crucial elements during this stage that may affect the launch schedule. For the sake of clarity, I'll list them. First, I'll ask how we can tell when the community feels the program is ready for production, and I'm sure you'll ask the same question. Ready to start producing, how do we know the software has been thoroughly tested? I still see the testnet option from the PI wallet, and people are still consistently using the testnet option. Does this mean it has not been thoroughly tested, and the core team has not made any changes? Based on what pioneers are doing about the PI network around the world, it already feels like the software is ready. Or is it too? It has been thoroughly tested on the testnet. The official mainnet of the PI network will be launched once again. How do we tell it has been thoroughly tested? Please drop. You're though in the comment section of the video, and also, if this is your first joining us here, please like and subscribe to this channel so you won't miss out on any update and rumors on the Pi Network. Thank you, and see you in the next one.